It boasts a very stylish and minimalistic interior, with lots of wood paneling and bathrooms featuring marble accents. It also has gorgeous views. While the home is very luxurious, it's missing a big feature, a large garage, with space for only two cars. Inside, the home is very stylish. HMDG Inc. The bathroom includes marble accents. HMDG Inc. The bedrooms overlook the hills. HMDG Inc. Ritzido's Monaco home is reportedly a much smaller pied -a terre style, one-bedroom apartment. Despite their size, these types of properties can garner up to $2 million or more in a sale, with the attraction to the sovereign city-state not only because of the Monaco Grand Prix, but also because you can live there without paying tax. Ricardo himself is said to be worth a cool $50 million. Lando Norris fellow McLaren driver Lando Norris had, until recently, only owned a property in Surrey in the UK, according to the tabloid press. But the up-and-coming driver recently revealed on Instagram that he was building a home in Monaco. Say hello to my new home. The place isn't finished yet, but I'll be living here in Monaco when I'm not in the factory or at the track next year. I get the keys at the end of next month, so we'll hopefully be moving in soon. Really excited for this next chapter. Norris said in the post on December 1st last year. His UK home is reportedly close to the McLaren factory and is said to be luxurious, featuring a white and grey interior. The home has a spacious front and backyard, home gym and features a race simulator where he can practice before hitting the track. Max Verstappen, despite being the reigning world champion F1 driver, Max Verstappen does not own property in Monaco, preferring to rent instead. The Dutch-Belgian Red Bull Ace rents a penthouse apartment in Monte Carlo, reported to be worth $27 million, and in the same building as Daniel Ricciardo. His apartment's balcony often appears in the background of his social media posts, with gorgeous views of his surrounds. Though he hasn't bought a property there, like many of his fellow F1 drivers for Starpen, can well afford to, as the 24-year-old is worth an estimated $60 million. Charles Leclerc One of the famed Ferrari team drivers, Charles Leclerc, also lives in Monaco, which is no surprise given he grew up there. The background of his home often appears on live streaming service Twitch, popular with gamers around the globe, where he shows off his sim driving SS. He has also revealed his home in a YouTube video, obviously filmed at Christmas, where he is playing the piano. George Russell George Russell was one driver who stayed close to his family during the pandemic and gave sports fans a sneak peek of his parents' home in Norfolk, where he was holed up last year. The home has an impressive kitchen, photos of the F1 Mercedes driver as a child, as well as some interesting artwork, including a painting of a longhorn cow. Russell had been renting a home in London before moving back in with his parents when COVID-19 spread throughout the UK and stopped the F1 series in Australia in its tracks. He recently moved to Monaco to be based with many other F1 drivers. Lewis Hamilton the seven-time world F1 champion and Mercedes team driver Lewis Hamilton owns a number of properties. After all, he is worth an estimated $285 million. His impressive property portfolio includes a home in Monte Carlo, Monaco, and a Manhattan penthouse, which he snapped up for a reported $55 million. The home is in a development where NFL star Tom Brady once lived. The Manhattan penthouse owned by Lewis Hamilton was bought in a building where Tom Brady once lived. Vestry the penthouse is 608 square meters and overlooks the Hudson River. It includes a library, wine cellar, swimming pool, and has a large outdoor space for entertaining perfect for hosting a party with his glamorous friends.